this is my third art cologne. I don't think it ever stopped being an important fair within Germany. An art fair performs many functions. The profile of the art cologne is the German art fair. If you look at the, uh, the German art market, it's, it's enormous. It's, uh, it's also quite resistant to fluctuations within the market. It's always been a very good buyers and sellers market. Um, sales have always been strong. I mean, we have, we have about 40, 50 exhibitors that have been doing the fair since, I think, you know, 20, 30 years. So that's a good sign. Um, about 60% of the exhibitors are German galleries. And then about 40, 45% are from abroad. The biggest change people will notice is when they, when they approach the fair. Outside we have uh, two large uh, sculptures by Paul McCarthy, brand new large aluminum works. Then upon entering into the fair, uh, we've dedicated the entire entrance hall uh, to the works of the Belgian artist Panamarenko. Um, this is a new initiative Starting this year with, with Panamarenko, we want to start dedicating it each year to a, a historical artist. An artist that uh, was active in the 60s and 70s or 1980s, sort of the high point of the art cologne. We have uh, uh, strong collaborations with local cultural institutions. Two days before, we have, we're presenting uh, Karl Heinz Stockhausen's Sunday Light which is, is sort of opera, and this is a premiere. So this, uh, the Sunday section of the fair will be presented for the first time. Uh, and this is uh, with the Cologne Opera House. So it's really, I think these are sort of major steps that will definitely broaden our audience and uh, make it a really sort of dynamic, all-encompassing all sort of cultural event. You know, with picking a, a artists that are from the 60s, 70s, and 80s, when, when the Art Cologne was, I think, the most important art fair in the entire world, at least for contemporary art. Within contemporary art today, there's a lot of, uh, I think a lot of young artists are referencing the 1960s. There's also uh, rediscoveries of artists like Charlotte Posenska or uh, Franz Erhard Walter, who shows with Jocelyn Wolf now. Uh, so the, this is sort of a, a current trend to begin with. It just happens to kind of match up really well with uh, sort of the strengths and interests of the art cologne. On one hand, we, we do have one hall dedicated to just uh, contemporary art. And then uh, the second hall is dedicated to modern post-war and blue chip contemporary. But the general picture of what the art cologne sort of represents and stands for, or its strengths, are the 1960s, the 1970s and 80s. Analyzing all the, all the art fairs that exist today, looking at all of them, um, the ones that are having difficult times today are the ones that are purely focused on contemporary art. I think it's, it's it's a great loss when you don't have the history behind uh, what's happened, what's happening in the art world today, present. And an art fair is, is the easiest uh, way to bring all of these sort of uh, movements, tendencies, types of art together under one roof. Once you remove the, the modern or the post-war, you limit yourself to a smaller audience. You don't get any crossover. I mean, one, one beautiful thing that happened at the Art Cologne this, this past year was a collector who normally only buyers works from the 1960s, mostly zero works, uh, made her way upstairs into a contemporary art gallery and discovered 
a very early work from Imi Knobel from 1968, which was a, a great match out with her collection, which was mostly uh, Uecker and uh, Otto Pine, Heinz Mack, all the sort of uh, zero artists. Um, of course, Knobel and Zero have nothing in common with each other, but what was nice was they were active. They overlapped at a, at a certain time in the late 60s when Knobel started and when the, uh, the sort of high point of, of Zero was, was starting to taper down a bit. So it was really, I think, uh, a pretty amazing experience that I witnessed, you know, because it was a, a gallery that didn't know this collector and a collector that had never heard of this gallery, but, you know, they matched up. It, what's important is knowing one's market, knowing where the interest is, and then really supplementing that and really building on that. So far, the art cologne, I must say, has been really great. We've lost, you know, one or two from the 20 that we've gained in the past two years. It'll continue for another 45 years.